Welcome back graduates. So today I'm going to give you a quick design hack that you can do and implement on any Shopify theme while you're designing your store to make it look uh, premium uh, and also you can do this um, on a Comify theme as well, our own uh, theme that we have built from the ground up. Uh, so I'm going to show you first and foremost uh, the step and how to uh, and, and how to handle this and also give you the uh, correct template to use. Uh, this does work if you are on uh, Shopify 2.0 and uh, one of the really great things about Shopify 2.0 is that you have uh, a area for custom CSS and what that looks like is in the theme editor you're going to go in the theme editor and you can go into any of the sections once you're in that section you'll see at the uh, bottom um, right hand it's going to say custom CSS and whatever custom CSS um, rules you have and conditions you have there are only going to be applied to that section as it says right here add custom styles to this section only now if you do want to uh, have global settings you do have an option to add that elsewhere and that will be under um, your theme settings and then custom css so this applies to your whole store so take note of the differences of that but right now we're only going to uh, we're only going to go and focus uh, on a section here uh, so <clears throat> this really cool uh, design hack that makes it really you know branded I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you um, a pretty cool place. I like this. It's a great way to uh, get designs, uh, PSD, mockups, uh, transparent kanji. And we're just going to go in and let's do water, for example. So let's say I want this water. And hmm, where was that image? I guess I'll do this one. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go in and download this. So I have now the realistic uh, water image. So I have now the realistic water image. And what I want to do next is I'm going to go into my files section. Uh, so to do that, you're going to go into content and then files. And then you're going to go in and upload the new image that you just downloaded, which is my PNG. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go in. but I do see that it is JPEG, so we're going to test out both and see the difference of JPEG and also see, uh, <clears throat> see also for a PNG. So when I go into here, I can just go and copy this link and put it in my notepad somewhere else. Uh, but what, what I want to do is I'm going to show you uh, under the, let's say for example, the feature products section. Let's just have this under the feature product section, I'm going to go under the custom CSS and then this is going to be the template used um, uh, that you that you want to use for uh, for having a background um, for having an image in the background. Uh, so it looks like this right now and uh, nothing's going to uh, be appearing because I don't have the uh, the image link that I just uploaded here. So let's go in and test this out and try it. So I'm going to go click on the link, copy link, and I'm going to put it and embed it right in between the quotes. And so let's see what happens. So <clears throat> as you see, this is really pretty cool. It kind of, this is a interesting um, a demo idea, but I wanted to show you the, uh, the template of it. And I, I really like it because, you know, it gives a little, uh, little splash, uh, no pun intended, to your store. And you can do this for every, for every uh, section as well. So let's just go ahead and let's see what it looks like under the featured, uh, the featured collections. And again, um, you can have this almost around your whole store itself. Now, do you see the check, the, this background check marks? It's because it's a JPEG file. It's not a transparent PNG. So if you don't like that check marks, what, what I might do is uh, use this handy dandy resource, remove.bg. I'm going to go in, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to uh, remove the background and see if it removes the background. So it did. So that looks awesome. And now it's a PNG file, which is really what I want. So now when I go into my content files, I'm going to upload the new one here. And you can name it also. I'm just showing you for demo purposes. Um, I'm going to wait for it to load. And now it's going to be with the new link. And it is a now a JPEG. 
So when I go into the customizer, I did see the, the, the check marks, which I didn't want. So I went in to remove background and I'm going to go in and just remove and replace the uh, image link here uh, between the quotes. So once I do that, I should see uh, pretty much a clear image right over here of of the uh of the water droplets now do you notice that uh the water droplets are a little less crisp um from here then what i would do is use another tool upscale that and then re-upload so there is a lot of back and forth but uh today i just want to show you the template uh, that you can use uh, for all themes um, and you can use for any section as well. Uh, so it's going to be section and then the curly brackets, background, I'm calling for the URL, the, the link of the image, and then uh, center, center, cover, no repeat. Um, and just make sure to have the link in between, uh, the file link in between the two quotes here. Uh, so again, it kind of made it a bit blurry as opposed to this image. So that depends on the image and the image size here. Notice that it was 800, and seven by 309 pixels. So I can download HD if I want, but I have zero credit. I hope you guys like this uh, quick uh, design snippet and until next time.